In 1956, Ethiopia established formal diplomatic relations with Sudan to advance mutual economic, political, and social interests. But before two decades, the relations between the two countries were not much fruitful as it was needed due to the Zain dictatorial regime's ill foreign policies. After Ethiopian People's Revolutionary Democratic Front, EPRDF, came to power in 1991, the relations began to flourish again. Since then, the relations between the two nations have been gaining momentum. If we'd like to look into the uh, relations uh, between the two countries, sisterly countries, uh, it, it was, of course, uh, 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 rooted deep uh, since the you know, early history. And uh, that is uh, reflected in the free movement between uh, the peoples here and there, the tribes, which are not uh, uh, recognized, even the borders, because we have uh, similar cultures, similar traditions. So that uh, makes it easier for uh, this movement of, of people uh, for, to, to get some benefits from here or there, or for different reasons. And uh, so when the social uh, relations are very close and very uh, tight during the, the, the last time, then of course that is also reflected in the uh, economic uh, exchange and, and relations. Uh, the relations between Ethiopia and the Sudan are very strong currently. And um, the two countries have been enjoying long-standing relationship. <coughs> And uh, in fact, uh, we can consider the relationship as uh, unique and special if we see it in terms of the ancient contacts that we have between the two countries and the peoples. Now, uh, to give you a little bit of background of the relationship between our two countries, I, I will focus uh, first on the, uh, the on the ancient contact that we have with the people of, of Sudan. These ancient contacts actually extended over centuries, and uh, the relationships between our two countries are also, as I said, historical, historical for uh, many reasons that we believe uh, are characterizing the, uh, the relationship that we have and the cooperation that we enjoy both of us for many years. Ethiopia and Sudan are countries with long history ancient civilization and a splendid culture. Both are home for a large number of languages, diverse ethnic groups and various religions existing in peace and harmony with astonishing culture of tolerance and understanding. The historical linkage of Aksum and Meroe can be mentioned as a good examples of the age-old relations that existed between the two countries. Uh, our relations are now at uh, the best time and especially after the uh, uh, convening the uh, high-level uh, uh, commission uh, presided by uh, President Omar Hassan Ahmed al-Bashir, President of the Republic of Sudan, and uh, His Excellency Atu Malis Zinawi, the Prime Minister of Ethiopia, and uh, to promote uh, these relations in, 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 in different, different uh, fields, economic, uh, social and uh, cultural. Both Ethiopia and Sudan have had more frequent high-level government officials exchanges and started up diplomatic consultations. In May 2010, Prime Minister Mala Zainawi attended the swearing ceremony of Sudanese President Omar Hassan al-Bashir. From the Sudanese sides, President al-Bashir visited Addis Ababa at different occasions. Uh, initially, when we established our joint commission, it was supposed to be at the ministerial level, joint ministerial level. And of course, for many years, we have been holding that meeting at the joint ministerial levels. And uh, finally, we discovered that our bilateral relationship needs further strengthening by the involvement of, at the highest level by the two leaders. Now, uh, this what we call the high-level commission uh, recently also was convened, and 
uh, again during that meeting we were able to further strengthen the areas of cooperation that you have and uh, not only that we look at the implementation of these various agreements that we have signed but also to look into the various uh, challenges that have been facing in terms of implementation and then uh, the leaders uh, will give us the directions how to go about uh, the, the various areas uh, of cooperation including by giving instructions how they can, we can solve those problems. Uh, luckily, uh, the relationship between us, uh, especially in those areas of cooperation, have been very smooth the implementation. The multidimensional relations between the two Horn of African countries are now producing practical results. Over the past few years, they have signed a number of agreements to enhance their bilateral diplomatic relations. Some of the cooperation agreements signed between the two countries includes trade exchange, the production of natural glue, forest development and protection, and others. Of course, cooperation agreements are not the only thing signed between the two sisterly countries at different occasions. They have incurred various memorandums of understanding on quality and standards control and human resource exchange. Both nations have also signed principles of implementation on culture and tourism, use and sports, health care, higher education and scientific research. There are three uh, ministerial, uh, joint ministerial uh, committees, social uh, committee, economic committee and political committee. And uh, we reach, uh, um, uh, you know, uh, uh, many agreements, we, 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 we sign many agreements and uh, memorandum of understanding as well as executive program. This uh, relationship of cooperation that we have between our two countries have been supported by various meetings that we have um, uh, between us at different times. Um, you might be aware of the fact that uh, we have a joint ministerial commission. Well, actually this joint ministerial commission was established a long, long time ago in 1965, which was uh, which was uh, recently upgraded in 2009 to the highest level. That means that uh, the high-level commission that we have is also headed by the two countries and leaders. And uh, this joint commission is, uh, uh, has a promotion of further promoting our relationship in our areas of common interest. Under the Commission, there is also a Border Development Commission that helps to further consolidate the relations between the two countries. The Joint Commission is not only at level of leaders, but also at level of foreign ministers and senior government officials. During that meeting, we will be able to discuss on a number of issues, um, bilateral issues, regional issues, in particular along the, the borders that we have been facing in terms of security, in terms of uh, political um, problems that we are facing. Um, and then uh, we'll be able to find out uh, the way how we can be able to solve those problems. These uh, regional or adjacent meetings have been very instrumental in further enhancing our bilateral relations, not only the adjacent state but also at the national level. Sudan is the largest neighboring country of Ethiopia and they share long boundary together. Their proximity has contributed much for strong friendship and exchange of two countries' people. Some sources indicated that many Ethiopian nationals are working and living in Sudan. Similarly, significant numbers of Sudanese citizens are living in Ethiopia for several reasons. To further enhance the existing people-to-people -people ties and friendship, many efforts are well underway from both sides. In the late 2009, a Sudanese cultural troupe visited Ethiopia and the state various cultural performances in Addis Ababa and other towns including Bahada, Gonda and Matama. When we come to uh, uh, people to people, of course we, we, we are encouraging other uh, actors who are not officials, but of course they are uh, uh, you know, the citizens of our countries uh, to involve in these uh, uh, relations by, you know, uh, implementing or uh, exercising some activities which reflected in enhancing uh, our relations, such as cultural and social, uh, and that is reflected in, uh, in, in 
during the past uh, you know uh, year and uh, the beginning of this year in in, in different uh, cultural uh, uh, you know bands and uh, groups who were coming from Sudan or from Ethiopia to Sudan uh, participating in different uh, uh, occasions and uh, ceremonies and uh, as well as uh, uh, the painters and uh, not only the singers but also uh, those uh, the artists as, as well as are working and by the way um, here during the last two months uh, Ethiopia witnessed uh, two uh, exhibitions for Sudanese artists, artists in painting reflecting the Sudanese culture. The people-to-people -people relations between our two countries have been further strengthened as a result of the cultural exchange program that we have, and um, in particular, of course, the cultural troops that have been um, going from here to Sudan and coming from Sudan to Ethiopia. And, um, of course, um, this is again very historical when we come uh, and see the people's -to people relationship between Ethiopia and Sudan. Uh, Ethiopians are not strangers to Sudanese and Sudanese are not strangers to Ethiopians. And uh, in terms of the cultural understanding between the two peoples, uh, uh, our similarities uh, are stronger. And uh, the relationship in the area of cultures well, that we have is n are not uh, a new phenomenon. strong relationship, people to people relationship between our two countries, between our two peoples will further, will continue in the future, in the years ahead. And uh, we believe that um, there is a sufficient level of understanding culturally between Ethiopia and the Sudan. And that definitely also will help <coughs> the kind of good relationship that we have as a political and, um, other, uh, and other areas of cooperation between us. There are a number of ways that people of the two countries appreciate the culture of each other and the exchange experiences. For instance, many Ethiopian singers have been singing Sudanese songs at different times and occasions. Similarly, a number of Sudanese musicians have been singing and playing Ethiopian songs at different occasions. <laughs> In the minnecho, que su dama tan, lina echo, taina stilling, in the minnecho, que su dama tan, lina echo, taina stilling, in the minnecho, que su dama tan, lina echo. That means we, 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 we share the, 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 the same culture, we, we share the same feelings and uh, the, uh, the same rhythm, you know, and uh, so uh, I mean, uh, if I, I tell you about whenever we have a social or cultural uh, event here in Ethiopia, we always, you know, uh, mm, bring some uh, Ethiopian who are uh, singing Sudanese beside Ethiopian you know songs and music the Sudanese they, they play the Sudanese music which is sometimes is just, I mean for some Ethiopians it's a Sudan because you know it, it is it is it is something that's shared for a long time so sometimes it is very difficult to know where, where the origin of this one we used to be one, one region, one country without, I mean, these borders in the past. So we still, after these borders, we still share these things. And, and by the way, some of these singers, uh, Cuban singers, they are now 
president in Sudan, or they stay for a long period in Sudan. You know, they get good opportunities singing Sudanese songs for uh, famous uh, Sudanese singers uh, like <coughs> Muhammad Wardi and uh, uh, Sayyid Khalifa and others. Wherever there are relations among nations of the world, trade is one of the most important components. It is the backbone of the two countries' relations. The two friendly countries have been working hand in hand to promote trade, transportation and communication links. The bilateral trade between the two nations is growing from time to time. Sudan supplies oil, gas and various industrial products to Ethiopia while Ethiopia exports system and other oil seeds to Sudan. Uh, for Sudan and Ethiopia, uh, you know, the, uh, the trade is, is, is one of the uh, of, of high uh, level in, in, in our relations uh, where we uh, export uh, uh, very essential and important commodities to Ethiopia and uh, Ethiopia also vice versa is, is uh, you know exporting to Sudan such as oil from Sudan and uh, as you know uh, the uh, Sudan is covering uh, the uh, more than 80 percent of the needs of uh, Ethiopian uh, government for uh, you know oil. I mean uh, petrol, petrol, and that is petroleum is uh, as energy uh, and uh, gas as well. And uh, by the way, by the next year, the beginning of next year, then uh, uh, Ethiopia will totally uh, depend on the uh, uh, imports from Sudan uh, regarding, uh, uh, you know, petroleum uh, needs. Um, in terms of the bilateral trade between our two countries, um, I can say that uh, we have been witnessing over the years that uh, <coughs> the trade volume has increased and um, <coughs> the, uh, the differences uh, uh, between the in the trade balance uh, is also reducing uh, which means that uh, once this uh, relationship is being considered as with a with a narrow gap of difference in terms of trade balance this will definitely indicate that um, the trade that we have is not one-sided for the benefit of one but uh, this is uh, for the benefit of the two sides and therefore we still believe that in future we can uh, we can further enhance our bilateral relationship <coughs> bilateral trade uh, relations and uh, again by, fo by focusing more on how we can narrow the cap in terms of the balanced trade that we have presently over the past few years ethiopia has been striving to expand hydroelectric power for local consumption and to the lesser extent for foreign markets Ethiopia is to export partly its electric power for neighboring countries including Sudan, Kenya and Djibouti. Direct Sudanese investment in Ethiopia is also increasing from time to time owing to favorable investment climate in the country. We have uh, on our list of course there are some in investors, Sudanese investors who are not registered in our records but uh, more than 22 different firms or companies working in Ethiopia in different fields. Uh, from medical to 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 uh, meat or leather or, or, or other products, you know, uh, digging wells and uh, and uh, constructions, you know, especially uh, roads, you know, paving roads and, and others. So uh, there are many, and they are, they are in different uh, places. Uh, not only Addis, uh, you go to Bahardar and Gundar, and also to. Uh, Tigray uh, region. Well, I'm, I'm glad to, to say that um, from the recent statistics that I have seen, the uh, Sudanese investors, investors have been investing or undertaking investment and in business activities in Ethiopia. And uh, uh, the information that I have is, uh, again, this is information that we got from the Ethiopian Investment Agency. The cooperation between Ethiopia and Sudan is not only confined to bilateral ties, rather it has grown to regional, continental and multilateral level. At regional level, for instance, both Ethiopia and Sudan have been cooperating and coordinating in areas of peace and security, economy and development activities. At African Union level, the two countries have been supporting each other in a number of continental issues. 
At a wider international level, both countries are a member of United Nations. As a result, they have been working closely to realize the main concern of the organization, such as peace and security. In this case, uh, we can take, for instance, uh, the United Nations peacekeeping mission in, in the fall. Uh, and, uh, and that's, uh, for instance, uh, Ethiopia has been uh, providing uh, um, the necessary uh, support for uh, Sudan and uh, for the people of Sudan by way of contributing troops and uh, as well as also some uh, uh, equipment, military equipment, weapons, as well as the, uh, the uh, helicopter.